Hi guys, today I'm sharing my refried bean recipe. It's super easy to make and it's so yummy. These are the ingredients I'm using, starting with the three and a half cups of pinto beans that are in this mason jar. I made these yesterday and if you're interested, I'll link that recipe below. Also, I have half a cup of chopped white onion, one minced garlic clove, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm using sunflower oil and also salt to taste. Let's begin by heating up a large pan over a medium flame, followed by the oil. Then we'll add the chopped white onion and cook for about two to three minutes. We want the onion to become very soft because it'll make it easier to mash. And once it begins to caramelize like this, we'll add the minced garlic and stir frequently um, for about 30 seconds. And at this point, we'll add the beans with the broth. This is what my beans look like after five minutes. As you can see, there's a soft boil, and in about 10 minutes, they should look something like this. And when they do, you know they're ready to be mashed. All right guys, this right here is my handy bean masher. There are different shapes out there. This is my favorite. I purchased it at my local Mexican market, and if you don't have one, that's okay. You can always use the bottom of a cup to mash the beans. Just be very careful not to burn yourself or you can let the beans cool down a bit and add them to a blender and pulse until you reach your desired consistency. I've done this when I want my beans to have that store-bought look that's perfect for dips. So yeah, there's options. This is the consistency I'm looking for. So after two minutes of mashing the beans, I turned off the burner and now they're ready to serve. Nothing beats homemade refried beans. There are so many ways to eat them. I hope you guys try this recipe. It's a simple but tasty one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more recipes.